See, I thought I'd do a little bit more in depth. It does run now. I'm not starting it right now. We're inside. Uh, see, that's the magneto. It does have an impulse. I didn't know if I'd have light for this in here. I just in the machine shed right now, but I thought I'd. Yeah, we did a lot with the belt pulley, but this, I've got another belt pulley. The bearing, bearings are kind of ragged in here. I just was going to, uh, yeah, it looks like this is picking up more light than I thought it would. thought I'd show you something. The, the War M's had a steel uh, cast iron, or a steel pressed tin uh, knob on them. Otherwise, the newer models, 1946, and that you could spot them right away because they had the... Uh, Bakelite shift knob. This is not the original seat, but it was better than some 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 of the cheap factory ones. Really didn't have a lot of spring tension. I can bottom bottom that out, but I'm light enough to uh, I'm light enough to uh, that it, it will carry me mostly. Uh, it's got the long PTO. Uh, some of the earlier models had a real short PTO shaft and a real a lot of the gears, see, it doesn't show real good, but a lot of the gears were up under. Walk back over here. It it did have an option for electric start, which it does have. Uh, some of the uh, war tractors came originally without it. Uh, oh, yes. The long, thin, the long, thin uh, uh, oil cleaner was on the later models. Now, this one originally had... Right here, there would have been a hole for the distillate cap. This the, the tractor when I bought it, I paid seven hundred dollars for it at an auction. I was I'm actually the second or third owner on this, whichever way you want to count it. It was two brothers that had bought it new, and they had they ran a dairy, and this was their tractor for quite a few years. Uh, they uh, anyhow, I brought it home. It did run at the time, but it. Still had the distillate manifold on, which it doesn't anymore. It's got the uh, high compression pistons. You kind of had to do that. If you went away with distillate, uh, that was a low compression engine. Here is the uh, pre-cleaner for, uh, for the Donaldson oil filter. I do have the correct ball special jar. It was kind of a square and it was shorter. But this is one I put on here when I didn't, wasn't going to... You know, when I wasn't taking it anywhere, that way if you break this, you didn't break something that was worth money. There was a time when they were paying real real money for the correct. Uh, I don't know if the light will be good enough. Yeah, I need to put my glasses on. Serial number. I was just going to look and see if I could read the... Let me flip her. Serial number FBK79457. I tracked that back to uh, July of 1945, so uh, Victory Europe was already, already uh, had happened. Uh, Victory in Japan didn't come till September. They signed, uh, they signed the treaty, treaty in September. I just thought I'd pop this up quick. I, I could start it, but it's in the building. I'd have to take the can off the... Uh, can off the stack, which that's no big deal. My brother put a battery in it for ease, but I, I don't mind turning the crank. That's that's there's the starter I knew most of my life. <laughs> Anyhow, well, thank you.